If you're experiencing any splashing with your Adagio water feature, this video is for you. There are only four areas on the water feature where splashing is even possible. I'm going to review those with you and show you what you can do to correct any splashing that might be occurring. Two of those areas would be at the top of the water feature. One is on the water surface itself, or on the water feature surface itself, and the other would be down in the pebbles in the tray. The first area where splashing might be occurring would be coming from the water distribution unit at the top of your water feature. It's important that you've installed the white plastic baffle appropriately. If you don't, for example, if you've left it at an angle or if these copper tabs are not upright, the water could be coming out right here at the top of the fountain and splashing out. So it's important that you take a look and make sure that the white plastic baffle, where the arrow says pointing to the wall, is indeed pointing towards the wall, that the top of the white plastic is squared with the water distribution unit. This will prevent any water from coming up out of the water distribution unit and splashing down the fountain. One more thing to take a look at when you're examining the water distribution unit for splashing is the lower lip of the unit. You want to make sure that the gap between the copper distribution unit and the water feature itself is very minimal. We have another video that talks about water flow that will show you how to adjust that gap. And all, as always, when you're working with the water distribution unit, you want to use a Scotch-Brite to just clean off the entire unit itself from the top to the bottom lip to help the water flow evenly. A second area where splashing might be occurring on your water feature is up at the top near these edge flow tabs. These tabs, the water comes over and hits these tabs, and it should be flowing onto the stone. If you're getting a trickle of water off of that that just comes down the water feature, you just need to bend this tab in ever so slightly, and that will adjust the water so that it's flowing onto the water feature surface. A third area where you might be experiencing some splashing is on the water feature surface itself. Adagio sells a number of different water features from marble to glass and mirror to slate. Some stones have a little bit more of a rough texture like slate, like this stone right here. You might find on, if your water feature happens to have a rough stone, that you might be getting some splashing when the water comes down and hits a certain point, a rough part on the stone, and then it might spit a little droplet of water out onto the floor. You can notice it best by looking at the water feature from the side as the water's running down the fountain. If it's hitting a little point, for example, like this little rough edge right here, you might see it hit there and every, every once in a while, a little bit of water will jump off the stone. In that case, you just want to take either a chisel or a screwdriver, maybe even a little piece of sandpaper, and just gently rub against that rough area until it smooths out. Then you can turn the water back on and see if the water is flowing smoothly over that point. The most common cause that we experience for splashing takes place right down here on the tray, on the pebble beach tray where the pebbles are. Splashing generally occurs when the pebbles on the shelf down here are leaning up against the water feature surface itself. The water is coming down the water feature surface and hitting the pebbles and splashing out onto the floor. So you want to pull these pebbles so that they're not against the water feature surface. Spread them out across this tray so that none of them are up against the water feature surface like that. That will keep the water, allow the water to go down past the pebbles into the lower tray. The pebbles sit on this pebble beach shelf, and the pebble beach shelf has this adjustable lip to try and keep the pebbles from leaning up against the water feature surface. You ought to be leaving about a quarter inch gap between the water feature surface and this pebble beach shelf lip. This is adjustable. You can just loosen these screws, adjust this lip so that it's about a quarter inch away from the water feature surface, and then just tighten the screws to set the lip in place, and then go ahead and add your pebbles back onto the shelf. It's important to know that you don't need to use all the pebbles that were included with your water feature. Just use enough that make it look nice, but not enough that they're leaning up against the water feature surface.